So you clicked on this video because you want to know exactly how to get the perfect 6 IV Masuda Ditto. This is the basically the strategy to do it. Now, I'm not just someone who is posting this thumbnail. I actually have a 6 IV Ditto that I have from a raid. And I'm going to show you exactly how to get this. Also, I have a foreign 6 IV Ditto here as well. So you can see both of them. What's the point of a 6 IV Ditto? 6 IV Dittos, when given a Destiny Knot and they start to breed with another parent that is 6 IV, guarantees you perfect 5 IV Pokemon. That's not perfect. They guarantee you 5 IV Pokemon. And there's a 1 out of 32 chance that when you take two parents that are 6 IV, you get a chance at having a six IV baby. And that is something really cool. And it makes your Pokemon really powerful. And that's why people really want six IV dittos. Luckily, they added bottle caps in this game. So if you're not someone who cares about the breeding aspect, you could just slap bottle caps on there. But just know that bottle cap stats of IVs do not pass down onto babies. And it's a lot more simpler just to hatch babies that have it than run to the store every time and throw your money at bottle caps. But that's up to you. Now, what is a 6 IV Masuda Ditto? In your classes at school, in biology class, Jacques mentions that if you hatch eggs with Pokemon that is from another language, you'll get a higher chance of getting a shiny Pokemon. When Pokemon tells you something in the game that involves shiny hunting, you should probably follow it because it really means they're telling you this is the hint. You should probably do this. Let's talk about shiny odds when it comes to Masuda method. To hatch a shiny egg, it's a 1 out of 4,096 chance. With the shiny charm and hatching the egg, it is now a 1 out of 2,048 chance. If you are using the Masuda method, aka using a different language ditto or any different language Pokemon, but in this case of the video, if you're talking about ditto, it's going to be a 1 out of 683 chance. That's very OP because this is not even using a shiny charm and you're already under a thousand. You're literally sitting at about 680 chance here. It's one of the most OP ones. Masuda method plus the shiny charm for hatching an egg is 1 out of 512 chance. So without the shiny charm, you're doing pretty good alone by just doing the Masuda method. Now, having a six IV ditto that can pass on insane stats, plus the ability with the Masuda method to produce a shiny Pokemon, even without a shiny charm, is why everyone wants one. It's absolutely OP. Here is a fun clip of my friend Salt Queen hatching a Pokemon by using the Masuda method. I just really want to get my shiny starters first. So right now our priority is to get all three starter shiny. We have Quaxley, we have Sprigatito, so all we need is this guy. Oh my god! Look how cool that is. But don't worry, I'm going to be showing you how to get the 6 IV Ditto. Keep going with me here. In order to get a 6 IV Ditto, you're going to have to unlock 6 star raids. How do you do this exactly? One, you have to beat the whole entire game. Two, you have to beat the post-game ace tournament. Three, you have to beat a couple of 5 star raid dens. You can do it on multiplayer, single player, it doesn't really matter. Usually teaming up online with people is a really good strat to do this. And then finally, you'll be able to get a call from Jacques. He'll just ping your phone, mentioning that there are some dangerous Terra Raid Dens that are appearing on the map with black crystals. And that's pretty much a signal that you have unlocked six star raids in the game. And you can be really happy about that. This is when the fun stuff starts because all six star raids will always guarantee you a five IV Pokemon. Yes, all five IV Pokemon. And you have a one out of 32 chance of getting a six IV Pokemon from those six star raids. Now, six star raids show up on your game maps really once a day. And the best way to keep refreshing this is by simply hitting X on your menu. You don't have to close out the game. Just hit open to the menu, hit X, change the date on your Nintendo Switch, move up a day. And when you come back into the game, you'll see that all the raid dens have switched over. This pretty much means that you can go ahead and check the next six star raid den and find out what the Pokemon is. And this is pretty much what we call resetting in order to get a ditto raid to show up under six star. And this is what an entire community is trying to do. But don't worry hit that subscribe button we're getting more into the information here and it's going to help you a lot and being subscribed will always give you the opportunities to jump into community stuff so continuing on what to not do in a six star ditto raid if you are the host of a six star ditto raid or any ditto raid do not ever bring a strong powerful pokemon to the fight that is the last thing you want to do because whoever hosts the fight is what the enemy ditto that you're fighting against in a terror fight is going to completely copy i made this huge mistake yes i'm taking the l for this one but i brought my roaring moon <laughs> paradox pokemon 
into the fight. And the Ditto then transformed into the Roaring Moon Paradox Pokemon. We don't have Paradox Pokemon raids, but this is a very good clip on what it would probably look like if you were to fight a Paradox Pokemon. Anyway, that Roaring Moon was able to completely wipe out the whole entire party and destroy us. And I also noticed when I went online to do random Terra raids on from the menu of random post on the switch i noticed that when i selected a six star dinner raid or even five star dinner raid people were playing as very powerful pokemon as the host for no reason making these ditto fights completely complicated all you have to do is walk into that ditto fight with the weakest pokemon you have you can bring a magikarp or just be ditto itself the correct ditto raid strategy is for the host to bring a ditto or a very weak pokemon if you bring a ditto and you're the host then all the dittos will just turn into ditto and the only thing it can do is hit transform while the rest of your team just barrages it. So the host really doesn't do anything here. It's up to your three teammates to destroy the Ditto completely. These should be absolutely the easiest six star raids of your life because the Dittos do nothing. And at the end screen, you'll finally be able to see what Ditto you got. If you have the judge feature unlocked, you can see if it's best in all six stats or if it's just best in five stats with that missing one. And that's basically going to help you discover what is a five IV Ditto versus what is a six IV Ditto. Remember, if you're a guest joining a host bring any pokemon you want just don't try to hit a ditto with something super ineffective like it has to be super effective or some really high level decent damage just do that okay thank you now let me tell you about the community ditto strategy yes this involves an entire community i told you it's already very difficult for one person to constantly reset their game by doing the day skip and waiting for the raid to show up as a ditto so what if you took thousands of people and put them together in one server and everyone is doing their reset at the same time that means we have increased all of our chances in order to find a six iv ditto in these six star ditto raids a lot more higher and the simple strategy is once the host finds it everyone is going to join the host once everyone starts to destroy these dittos and see what they are at the end when they check their judge feature they see what they are if they're five iv or six iv it is then reported to everyone what the ditto was whether it was a five iv or six iv and what it was missing exactly in its stats and then we completely move on to the next one now if the host does happen to find a very good ditto for example a six iv one which is how i was really able to get one the host is basically going to let three players in those three players have to destroy the boss completely the host will just be a very weak pokemon the fight finishes in less than a minute and then what the host will do at the end is make sure to just not auto save before the fight but after the fight is done the host will then just close the game reopen the game and reinvite everyone it's kind of a little bit of a broken loop but this allows the community to start farming the dittos now, something interesting is how do you get the Masuda Ditto? Because you need something in a foreign language. There's two options for that. One, you can make another account in another language. And by account, I mean, just make a new save file. You don't have to make a whole Nintendo Switch profile. You just have to have the game open on another account in another language. You just select the language, pick Spanish, French, Italian, I don't know, whatever you want and play the game in that. That is going to cause any Pokemon you find to be a different language Pokemon. Therefore, anything you catch in that game is now considered in Masuda if you bring it over to your game or if you're in English and you take an English Pokemon and bring it to that game that is considered a Masuda method now we had someone in our raids that joined us every single time who was catching them in the Spanish language and after that that person was able to trade me their Spanish ditto that they got from the raid so the English ditto I had is exactly the same as the Spanish ditto I had except the Spanish ditto was just traded over by somebody else and it was the exact same ditto raid so if there's anyone out there that does play in different languages, or if you guys are brave enough to make a second account and throw in a different language just for the sake of raiding and helping out the community and helping farm and spreading around the Masudas, this is a great option to do. Shout out to Jet and shout out to Lao for showing off how we can get 6IV Masuda dittos using Discord. Now, if you want to get in on the action, all you have to do to get in on these 6IV ditto rage is just click on the link in the description for the Discord or click the pinned comment down below. This is the best way to get the dittos from a community perspective, but if it helped in any other ways, please hit that like button and you can probably figure it out solo or with a group of friends just using this method. I hope this helped. This ditto strategy is very important. Make sure to check out this video to see what you can do with your 6IV ditto when it comes to breeding.